We, together with our allies, not just in the G7, but around the world, everywhere from Australia to Singapore to Switzerland, we put on the toughest sanctions and we push back the Russian economy by decades. We also supplied weapons to Ukraine and many around this chamber have commented that maybe we should have supplied weapons earlier, but I can tell you from working inside the government that we did all we could as quickly as we could to persuade allies and we have built up now an alliance of countries supplying those weapons and I can't wait to see the tanks and I can't wait to see the fighter jets in Ukraine to help those brave Ukrainians. We need to do all we can to make sure Ukraine wins this war as soon as possible. Every extra day are lives lost, women violated, towns destroyed. We need to do all we can as fast as we can. My view is that does include fighter jets. Let's cut to, to the chase and give them the planes too. Unless he's finally defeated in Ukraine, Putin's revanchist ambitions will be unchecked. And that is why it is so crucial that we now accelerate our support for Ukraine and give them the tools to finish the job. We said we would come to their aid in the event of an attack. Now is the time, finally, to do what we can to honour that promise. The Ukrainians are not just fighting for their freedom, but for the cause of freedom around the world. We should give them what they need, not next month, not next year, but now.